Alrighty, folks, how's it going on this hot Saturday morning? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the front turn signal lamp assembly on your 97 to 2003, 2000, yeah, 2003 Ford F-150. Let's get to it. And for this particular part, here is the part number 1630260, part lamp assembly from Dorman. And here we go, here's the new Dorman turn signal lamp assembly so it's out with the old in with the new let's get it apart first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a seven millimeter socket with a long extension and a quarter inch ratchet again you're going to need a quarter inch ratchet with a quarter inch extension and a seven millimeter socket you're going to go right there to that bolt hard to see but you're just going to Loosen it up and be very careful. Don't take it all the way out with the ratchet. Make sure you can grab it by hands or you'll drop it and lose it like I did on my other truck. Alright, that should be good enough. Just gently. And there it is. And it's hard to do with one hand, but. Alright, now I should just be able to reach down in there with my finger and pick it out and don't drop it please don't drop it well, i wish i had my magnet and i don't got it with me right now be very gentle when you pick it up come on baby and there we go i got it out like i said just be very careful that is a tiny tiny bolt and if you drop it in the grass you're gonna have a hell of a time finding it so all we gotta do now is pull this one out. All right. So once you get that bolt out, the best thing to do, got it where I won't lose it. But the best thing to get this thing out is get a flathead screwdriver and stick it up in here and gently start prying. You don't care about breaking the old lamp assembly. You just don't want to mess up the crack the grill. So I'm gonna go get a flathead screwdriver. Grab the flathead out of Frankie. Never mind, I don't have a flathead and a Phillips head, but I should be able to get it out with this. Alright, I'm having to use my pocket knife because I don't have a flathead screwdriver. Um, but as you can see, it's coming out and just working it slowly. And she's out, boys. There you go. All you want to do now is disconnect your light. So I can do this one handed. Uh, there you go. And out with the old broken turn signal lamp assembly and in with the new let's get her in now the new light has got a cover a piece of plastic over the hole where your light bulb goes you just want to remove that slide your bulb back in lock it down in place then push your assembly back into its location when you're putting this thing back in you want to make sure you have your have it lined up correctly sometimes it can be a pain but I got this one lined up all I gotta do now is push it in just like so don't, don't break it and your hole should be lined up for your bolt to go back in as you can see mine is put the bolt back in tighten it down again when you're putting your bolt back in here to hold the lamp in place and do not drop it be very gentle do not drop that bolt because like I said you will have a hard time finding it if you drop it on the ground and snug it down with your ratchet you don't want to go crazy and break anything just Put it on there and just gently snug it down. And that's good right there. And there you have it, boys. Let's test it and see if it works. And there we go, fellas. Guys, it's working. This lamp assembly cost me about 13, might as well say 14 bucks. I think it was like 17 with taxes and shipping but uh as you can see it's not hard to do just be very careful when you remove that bolt that seven millimeter bolt you do not want to drop it and lose it and if you do drop it you want to make sure you have a magnet to find it really quick but 
Like I said, just be gentle when you're putting it back in. You don't want to put too much pressure and crack it. I've done that before. But out with the old. And in with the brand new. I know most people will say, you know, why don't you replace them both at the same time? Well, well, yeah, that one is a little bit faded, but really, it's not, they're just, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, the headlights look brand new since I had them restored, and, you know, I am getting ready to put new LEDs all the way around soon, so, but, yeah, this is, you can easily do it yourself. If you're mechanically inclined, you can, this is easy. It takes nothing to do this. But, I, as you can see, mine was a Dorman. Dorman makes really good aftermarket parts, and they're as close to OEE as you can get. Again, the part number is 1630260, and I bought this on Rock Auto. I buy all my parts on rockauto.com, except for my alternators and starters. I get them at AutoZone. But the next time you have a broken <coughs> turn signal lamp or headlamp assembly, go to Rock Auto and make sure you get a Dorman unit. They're the best. They, they look the best. They are as close to OEM as you can get. And you can save your whole self a whole bunch of money rather than going to the dealer and spend a fortune for one of these turn signal assemblies or headlight lamp assemblies, tail lamp assemblies. Go to Rock Auto, get it online like I do, and you'll save yourself a whole bunch of money. And you can easily do something like this yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.